Welcome to Excel Database Features Part 1. I'm Trainer Lori. Excel is a powerful flat file database where you can store more than a million records. In this session, we'll learn the six steps to build your database right. Step 1 is you must have a header row. Above all your data and in the first row, make sure that you put in a header row that explains what goes in each column or field. Then format it so that Excel knows it's a header row. All you have to do is bold it. You can format it any other way you like, but you must bold it for Excel to understand that this is a header row. Step 3. Make sure that your data goes down and not to the right. Here's a way to remember it. If it's going to grow, put it in a row. This data is set up incorrectly. The data is in columns instead of rows, and the headers are on the left, and the data grows to the right. The problem with this is you cannot manipulate it with all the database tools in Excel, and you certainly cannot take it into Access. So to make it better, you want to transpose it so that the headers are across the top. Good news! Excel has a tool that can fix this fast. You might have seen it, but not used it. Transpose is on the right mouse click. Simply select your data and cut it. Put your cursor in the one cell at the top left corner of where you want the data to appear. Right click and under Paste Options, choose Transpose. It will automatically put all your headers in the first row and all your data going down exactly the way we want. Step number four is no blank rows. A lot of times we use a blank row to separate data, but Excel sees that as the end of the database, so you don't want a blank row. Instead, I would recommend that you use borders. Under the Home tab, you have the option for borders. Select the data you want to separate and add a bottom border. Caution! Do not select the entire row. If you put formatting in an entire row or column, it can fill your database memory with unneeded bloat that could make it a huge file. Here's a quick way to delete all those blank rows. Instead of searching and hoping you find them, we'll use Go To Special. Click in your database, then click Control G to quickly go to, go to. <laughs> then click Special. Under Special, one of your options is Blanks. When you choose Blanks, it will go to or select all the blank rows in your database. And you can hit Delete to remove them all at once. Step number five is to separate critical information in your data. In this column, the first and last names are in the same cell. In my first mail merge database, I put the entire address data in one field, but as you can imagine, I couldn't easily sort by just city or name. I realized that the more data is separated, the easier it is to manipulate it. So we want to separate or normalize the data. Excel is a great tool to do this. First, select the column or field to normalize, then click the Data tab, Text to Columns. It's a three-step wizard. The first step asks, is the data delimited? In other words, is it separated by something like a tab, a comma, or a space, or even fixed width? Click Yes, it is delimited. Click Next. Step 2 asks, what is it separated or delimited by? And by default, it will always have tabs selected. I check Space because this text is separated by spaces. Then it asks, how is it formatted, and where would you like to put it? Now be careful because it will always put it in and overwrite whatever's in the next column or three. Make sure you have several blank columns next to where you are separating this data. When you hit Finish, look at what it does. It separates what was in one column and puts it into two, separating first name and last name. Simply fix the headers and you are done. Step six is no leading spaces. If you like to use left justify, but then add a leading space so that the data is not jammed up against the side of the cell, don't use a space bar. The problem with spaces is the database does not know how to read a space. So instead, use the indent. This way, Excel knows the space is simply formatting and not an unreadable data type. Let's review the six steps. Step one, use a header row in your first row. Step two, format that header row as bold. Step three, make sure your data grows down. Remember, if it's gonna grow, put it in a row. Step four, no blank rows, instead use borders. Step five, separate critical data. This is known as normalizing your database. And step six, don't use leading spaces using the space bar, instead use indent. That's all this time. 
If you like it, please click like and subscribe to the Trainer Laurie channel.